Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's Off Meta setup, we will be doing another Dawn Cores and Polaris Lance combo, but instead of Strand, we will be using Stasis instead for even more chaotic loadouts. Similar in design and depth, the following combo is going to be providing more DPS compared to what our Strand version provided, while also being more danger to use with add clearing to its finest. Ignition and Shatter Damage are two of the same when you think about it, and when combined, it can create a much more lethal outcome compared to just doing it on a singular element. So, here we go again with another fresh twist within our builds once again. To start, you're going to want to have Ice Flare Bolts where shattering a frozen target spawns Seekers that track and freeze nearby targets. Then you want Bleak Watchers where you'll be able to convert your grenades into a stasis turret. There is a number of ways to make this build work in your favour, and this is one of them when it comes down to the easiest. With how much we rely on freezing and stunning targets so our primary can progress effects much more easier, this is going to make aiming and landing our shots so much more easier and rewarding in the process. If you wanted more melee energy on top of what Dawn Course provides, then yeah, using Glacial Harvest is another combo that can give you near instant melee regen without the need of investing into our strength stat, although this will vary in terms of what content your users most in. For Fragments, Whispers of Durance were slow from your abilities last longer and linger longer, Whispers of Fissures, which increases the damage and burst of stasis crystals on frozen targets. Whispers of Vending, which increases primary weapon damage against crystals on frozen targets by 43%. And Whispers of Refraction, where defeating slow or frozen targets grant you class ability back. What I had in mind was to use my ability stasis effects to either slow or outright freeze a target, and then use my main primary weapon to clean up with ease, and also build up that extra stacking damage that Polaris can activate. With Durance increasing the stun rate that targets are frozen by, Fissures increasing the shatter damage, and Rending increasing our weapon damage against frozen targets, our build becomes quite useful against all types of enemies when fully activated. Refraction helps we get our rift up and ready when we need it most, but I can also see things like fractures and chains being more useful if you want to lean more into the survival aspect of the build. For the mods and stats section, both Discipline and Strength will play a big part within the build and of course having high recovery as well will provide some benefits. For Discipline, we have Ardar Tier 7 with one of Focus Mod attached, which then gives us a Tier 10 stat overall. With the Dustfield slash Bleak Watcher combo, this will give us a minute 16 cooldown rate when using our grenades in its base form or turret form. Depending on the grenade being used, you can either use the Glacial Grenades along with Whispers of Shards for faster grenade regen, but this will most likely mean your cooldown rate gets increased until the given fragments effects are active. As this is a nice and simple area to focus on, I wouldn't say grenade choice here will matter so much, as the cooldown rate will be relative within the 1 minute area. This is going to be the same for our strength style at tier 7, as we tend to use it along with Front of Viger for tier 10 cooldown once active. This long with a melee will provide us with a 51 second cooldown rate on top of Dawn Core's effect of grant us a 6.25% melee ability energy as well. This will overall help with chain using our penumbral blast effect in close range when dealing with aggressive threats or need to deal with stunning a champion there and then. It won't have the same effect of allowing us to land critical hits with how short our melee range is, but with how effective ice flare bolts are, it can help with spreading our freeze effect far and wide instead. For the armor charge to retain the following system we have in play, charged up will allow us to hold on to more armor charges as we play and collect them, while stacks and stacks will grant one additional armor charge when collecting orbs of power. Having the solar cipher mod for creating orbs of power via weapons and powerful attraction mod for collecting orbs of power with our venicity will help when we are not able to push forward in the heavily entrenched areas. Then adding this with a times one solar weapon surge and the time dilation mod means that we can increase the weapon damage of choice while also creating a ton of orbs of power in the process for a long time. Lastly, having a dynamo mod will greatly benefit you when using your rift, as the base super use is great for area control and wipe. Now lastly, the weapon being used will be the Polaris Lance, which is a exotic that is highly underrated and spoke about on my channel many, many times over. The exotic is a great primary to own with his ability to regen ammo and inflict scorch damage over and over again as long as the user lands a precision hit. Many people will use their exotic slots for a more stronger secondary or heavy exotic, but considering how powerful most legendaries are in game, the following can easily be adapted when required by the end user. 
This weapon with Dawn Course is going to make it apply Ignition Blast on a more larger scale, thanks to the Dawn Course initial sort of trait. And it's this one feature here, which will allow us to apply it with Stasis to do even more large scale area damage without the need of a Heavy. For Heavy, I have the new Cold Comfort Blocker Launcher with Envious Assassin and Chillclip. A great Heavy to have so you can use this against bosses as it can apply Shatter Damage on top of its base damage for a huge buff straight out of it. My version can get up to about 2-3 to three rockets at once, which makes it perfect to use against bosses and champions. And then applying what my main primary does on top of my heavy allows us to do quite a significant amount of damage all in one. We have already created a similar build to what we got to via strand instead, and when comparing the two, they both share a common design that makes them great for general content. Both strand and stasis can stun targets for X amount of time, while also having fragments capable of enhancing our base abilities without much sacrifice required. At the same time, they're both great at crowd control and can be a pain to face in PvP. So, when showing the following, you may as well watch my strand version as well, since the two are so common, and not because I require all your attention. Wink wink. So, what makes this setup unique? Well, we are already aware of how strong stasis is even with strand around, so this sheer destructiveness or stasis is great for out control, and large scale area damage when you need it to nuke areas is all there. At the same time, the ability to create a turret means that we can have a much faster option to freeze when we really need it most. Lastly, its slow and freeze effect works really well with any weapons that share the same properties it does, such as Clip. That's the basics of the subclass, but once you add in Dawn Cores and Polaris Lance to the mix, you can create a simple but even more effective setup with Scorching Ignition Damage to support. Polaris has been buffed to apply Scorch buildup upon its position hits, with Ignition also being available. So then, adding on Dawn Chorus will not only enhance our Scorch damage further to make it easier to proc, but also get mini energy back via the Scorch applied. This is handy, as our base build can also create additional shards if we choose to. But instead of needing to use a fragment, we can get it for free via our current loadout like a mini Monte Carlo. If you have ever wanted to see what a stasis stats solo subclass combo would ever look like in game, well, here's your perfect opportunity to see it live. Like shown, its strength lies with us using our abilities and weapons to inflict high damage via slow, freeze, shatter, scorch, and ignitions. You will find the most success with this in GMs, legendary content, and anything that requires you both to deal with ads and also deal with bosses. Personally, it felt more useful in GM where the content suited the overall feel and need the build required by fully excelling in. And while dungeons and raids are also acceptable for the build as well, it's only going to be good in a set scenario you end up in, anything with a large amount of ads for example. It feels great to use, and the majority of items used can be gotten or farmed by players just by playing the game like normal. But overall, I've created another sleepy hit build that I'm sure you'll find some useful, here and there, or in the future. What do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below, but at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and a sub bar here. I will leave a dim link for the build below and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.